Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a 3D pastel in Neil Arch. It is going to be a knitted look and you can have a wee look. That's what exactly we are going to do. A cute hat and a love heart. Uh, and I think you will really enjoy uh, doing this uh, designs like actually I did. It reminded me the time when I play with my daughter with some Play-Doh. So it is something uh, completely different. Maybe not something which we will do on our clients for every day, but definitely uh, worth your watch. So let's start. That's the designs which we are going to do. It's like a 3D gel jumper knitted look um, designs. And uh, I will show you how to do it. So first of all, like for yourself, safety, put the gloves on uh, because uh, you are going to work with the Uncure product. And uh, I've got on the sides a bit of the 3D gel. So I'm just putting my gloves on. Like, I don't want to touch the Uncure product. And honestly, guys, you do that the same as well, because uh, the Uncure product starts the cause for most of the allergies. So I've got my 3D gel in here. I just put the second glove on. A cute, a pink one, sir. So. <laughs> and uh, we need to start with rolling the product first, so we can kind of create this knitted look. So I just put that on the side. And I've got a tiny bit of the product in here. So that's probably the size you are looking for. Now, basically, usually when we start rolling, we kind of roll with our fingers. But what I find that it doesn't give you the nicest roll because the fingers doesn't have as much of the surface to roll. So it's better if you use this part of your hand. And you kind of keep rolling. Obviously, the thinner roll you will create, the better looking designs you will get. So this one is getting long. I'm going to cut it into half. And you can see here is pretty thin, but then here I've got bulk of the product. So I'm trying to roll out this part, which has lots of product on. Now, obviously, the thinner we go, the more difficult it starts to become because um, the product may break off as well. But I want that to be really nice and thin. I'm not the fan of this design. That's why I also try something else and we will do both ways. Uh, just because it's kind of pretty heavy looking uh, due to its thickness. So try to do it as thin as possible. Once you have rolled it, you can cut it just to make it also comfier for you as well. And then pick it up. A dotting tool is pretty useful. So pick it up like this. And then you want to twist it. So I'm going to just close it and start rolling and twisting it like this. So this one goes to my right side. And then to make the twist more even, I'm putting it on the side. And you can see I've got a bit thicker here and then thinner there. So I'm just kind of rolling it like this to get a nicer twist. Kind of more even. There we are. So that's my first twist done. Okay, I can put it on the side. And then we do the same on the other one. So I'm just picking it up and the previous one we was twisting this way. So this one we are twisting the opposite way, which is my, <laughs> we was doing my right, now we are going my left. So I'm twisting the other way. And this is really important that you've got different types of twist. One's going to one side and the other's going to the other side to show those knitted look. And again, I've got much thinner here and thicker there. So gently, gently, I'm kind of doing those kind of movement. Roll that in. So you play with those kind of wee twisty bits and it's best if you put a couple of them on the side. So I have done it quite a few in here. Uh, if you find it, uh, this is uh, pretty sticky. First of all, a uh, few tips. 
it is nice to do it on some kind of cold surface like pretty flat one like a table or some table mat uh, just because your hands gives too much warmth and then it's more difficult to work with the product when it's too warm um, I also find that that's um, cleaning with the UV cleanser uh, clean the surface make the product to stick in less don't try with the water um, like um, I think water kind of interact too much with the gel and just gives really messy results um, and yeah we can move on into the first part of this design so I will show you on pretty nice hat on this tip on my mixing palette I'm going to put a drop of the color Actually, this one is maybe a little bit too similar, so I will swap the tips. There we are. And I'm going to paint the shape of the hat. The reason why I want to paint the shape of the hat is um, it's just going to be much easier for you later on to fill it up with this uh, knitted look. And just color that in. You don't have to be perfect on this part because it's going to be covered um, with the knitted look anyway. And then on top of it, just a wee rounded bit. Okay, so we've got a shape of the hat. I'm going to give it a cure. And then we can start putting the knitted uh, design. Now let's go back to our swirly bits. So we have created two. One was twisted one side and the other one was twisted the other side. And the reason for it is because once we join them in together, they will create a nice knitted look. So you want them to be opposite. I will show you if I take two on the same size uh, sides. So these ones are twisting both at the same side. There we are, that's two. They wouldn't go as nice. They, they wouldn't create those... Um, braided look so we need that to look like this okay, we want that braided look and if you choose two same size sides it doesn't work this way you need them to be opposite okay and then you get you can see the difference pretty useful tool is a spatula so we can also cut it into the smaller pieces but that's our hard cook and i can remove it now it is going to be much easier for us to place those um, design in. So basically what you are doing now is, actually I put this one on the side because it's a bit wet, like kind of hot um, and you better to prepare it a little bit sooner so it's easier. And now I have placed the first one, I can cut it, it, so that's the part I don't need it. And then we don't need more on the top. So because we have drawn this design first, it is much easier for us to work now. Now if the twist is going this way, I'm needing another twist. which is going the opposite way. So that's this one. It's really fiddly and so time consuming. We don't need this part. OK, 
okay so we've got a first row of those nice and knitted look look how nice it is okay i can go and i can grab another one cut it do the same on this one cut it I also have got some tweezer on the side uh, somewhere <laughs> because it might be easier for you guys to use the tweezer to pick up it and stick it in as I say it's a pretty fiddly design okay so we've got half of the hat done let's move on again and again cut it You have to be also very gentle all the time because uh, if you squish it too strong um, the design is going to be not nice. So what I'm doing now is I'm kind of giving it more rounded shape at the top and I'm missing a very tiny one on the side and here. So let's use this one. Cut it off. You can also perfect the bottom of the hat, like make it look nice. And we also want the fluffy bit on the top. So I can put all those knitted bits and pieces. And the fluffy bit at the top, basically what I'm doing now is I took a very small piece of the 3D gel, I'm going to roll it and my fingers I get a nice ball. And then just stick that. Ah, this ball has a bits and pieces of something. And stick that ball in. We've got the ball in. And what we need is your dotting. Actually, I think I will add a very tiny uh, amount of the knitted design on this side, like the thinnest one I've gotten here. No, this one is a bit too thick. I'm going to twist it again. <clears throat> there we are this is going to give me a better shape of the hat yeah that's much better and now we need to finish off those wee fluffy ball which we've got on the top so grab your dotting tool and make it, it look messy. So when you're making the holes, like make sure later on you kind of pull them so they are not as a hole, so it looks like fluffy bits. Now I've got a bit of the glitter there, which I don't want. And that's my knitted hat finished. I'm going to give it a cure then now. And um, I wanted also to show you 
If you don't want to roll all these designs and you want to go for something slightly different, uh, what you could do is um, you could just draw the shape. So say we will go for the sloth heart. This is going to be probably hardly visible on this color. But basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just drawing a love heart here. And I'm going to give it a cure. The hat is cooked and you can see it, the finished results. I think it looks uh, pretty okay. I will also want to do a tiny bit on the bottom of this hat. And that might be another um, fur. Or actually, I love the caviar beads. And I think they look awesome with those type of designs. Because they kind of um, get rid of this strong transition in between. Or what else you could do it is just take a, this bead and put it underneath of that to finish it off. And actually, we might do it this way. So I'm just cutting small piece and then the other one we will do it with the caviar beads. See, it's so fiddly. <laughs> okay, forget the tweezer. I'll just go with my fingers. But guys, really, wear the gloves for these designs. Cut it there. And cut it there. So this way the hat is more kind of finished look. And I much prefer it now. I'm going to give it a cure. Now, if you don't want to roll all those bits and pieces, there is an easiest way. It's, it's going to look completely different because uh, that's the heart like I have created. And I will show you how to do that as well. But I still feel it's quite cute. Um, so basically what you're doing is, again, you roll the, you roll the 3D gel. You roll that nice. And then you put it on the tip. Now, this is something where you have to use your imagination because I'm going to hide some parts of this design so i'm just applying it on and now i'm shaping it into the heart shape sorry didn't like this side it was too dirty <laughs> so i'm flattening it up now i need to do a love heart shape <laughs> So keep it nice and sharp on the bottom and then you can keep flattening with your finger and basically you want to push it down in the middle here a little bit so you get a love heart shape. I've got also like a silicone tool and that's the tool which you should use for uh, the 3D gels. Okay, so that's my love heart almost finished. I'm just going to sharpen it up a little bit. And I think this is much quicker and it's not as uh, sticking out. Okay, so this part is done. We can also take a little bit as well on the top. Flatten it up a little bit and add it on. I'm flattening everything 
and then once I'm happy with the love heart shape what you do is like I've got the spatula but you could also do it with the needle or any other um, thing and I'm going to go into the shape which I might actually guys draw for you first this is bad I have no piece of paper <laughs> all what I've got is a pack after the uh, lighters but anyway that will work so basically the shape which we are going for is like this so basically you're just doing lots of lines and then you do also the other row of the lines so we still got this kind of knitted look so i'm doing one side first and then the other side and you kind of keep going So you still got some kind of texture on it then you can just shape it a little bit better and give it a cure i show you the hat because it's completely done so that's the hat which we have done with the first technique and then we will just finish off the love heart so you will have a really cute designs here i've got a bit of the scarf as well and here is another hat. So this hat was created using the same technique was the love heart. And now the caviar beads. And then that's our design going to be finished. So it's something a little bit different. <coughs> there we are. I'm just going to grab my tiny, tiny wee brush with a drop of the top coat. If I would be working on the clients, I would use the base uh, just because the base lasts much better. So I have just outlined it with the top gel and now I will be fiddly playing with the caviar beads very fiddly. I will show you guys one side if you don't keep your board. And if you try those type of designs just hashtag the Rota Palitska because I would love to see what you came up with. I have also seen it quite a lot of uh, different of your works and I'm really happy to to see that you are trying all those these different designs which we are doing on this channel. To make the life much easier for you if you're placing the uh, caviar beads uh, I also suggest you do kind of like a flash cures in between. So after you have done a little bit, uh, it's a good idea uh, to cure it before you move on into the next part. And actually, that's what I'm going to do with the now. So I'm going to give it a flash cure, even those few seconds, just to freeze the product so it doesn't run. And now we are going to do it on the other part. As I say, very, very fitly. <laughs> I quite like the caviar beads for this type of the designs just because the as I say it's like that they kind of make a nice transition in between the flat part of the design uh, with the 3D mm, part. 
the main tips I can give you is when creating um, those type of 3D um, designs, uh, I suggest you roll your um, knits first and then you put them on the side so they've got a little bit of time to set and to cool down as much easier to work with them if you kind of touch them too soon they might um, flatten too much because the gel is too soft like we're obviously heating it up with our fingers and uh, it's much harder to do it those type of designs oh come on i need one bit just one more Okay, and I can go and give it a, this one is ugly here. Come on, stay. No, I'm giving up on this one. <laughs> I'm just going to cook it the way it is. So yeah, that's what we have created today. Hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. And if you did, subscribe to this channel. Thanks, guys. Bye.